Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Tina's Max Cheesy Bold Flavor. Uh, this one is a burrito. This one is a beef nacho cheese burrito. Um, it said it's a half pound burrito, so it's a pretty good sized burrito. 18 grams of protein. It is an 8 ounce or 227 gram burrito. We bought these at Meyer. They were $1.19. I think they sell them at other places, I'm sure, but that's where we happen to get them. So let's see. If you eat the entire half pound burrito, it's 640 calories. There's your, there it is. And there's your other information for you. So heating directions, let's see, it's over here. So you microwave these. I only see any, you don't see directions for any, oh, no, I only see microwave directions. So, I you know how well you can see that. A little blurry to me. Focus and mic. Dry hands. Um, remove burrito, burrito from package. Wrap in a paper towel. Place on a uh, microwave safe plate. Microwave on high. Um, flip burrito to cook thoroughly. So this is frozen. So it's one minute and 13 seconds per side. So one, that's an odd number. One thirteen. So, uh, and just be careful because the filling is really hot. So the odd number of one minute and 13 seconds. It's actually a Oh, dope. Okay. A plate. So I will probably wrap this instead of in a paper towel. I'll probably wrap it in a piece of parchment paper because it doesn't stick as bad. And then I'll make sure I flip it and everything in the, in the microwave. But I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, so here it is on the microwave. I literally just let it sit for the minute. And then, uh, ooh, leaky. Good thing I didn't um, put that in a paper towel. That would have made a mess. Look at that. Would have made a mess in a paper towel. Well, Slide this down a little bit, see if I can't get this parchment folded a little bit. There we go. It's very wet. Very wet underneath the plate. So I'm gonna flip this back over. There we go. So let's cut it and see what it looks like inside. Pretty thick burrito. I mean, that's uh, you see how much fillings in there. So I'm gonna cut this into smaller pieces. I usually cut you know, like this big burrito, I'll probably cut each side into like three separate sections and I'll cut it, those in half like that. And then I'll cut that in half to make it a little easier to eat on camera. If I was doing it on my own, I would probably, if I was not recording it, I'd probably literally eat it the same way. It's just easier to eat a bite sized piece than it is to eat a big whole burrito. I know some people would just pick it up and eat it. Yeah, this is just easier for me. So anyway, I'll be back when it's cooled off. Okay, I gave it a minute to cool off. Um, not a super long time, but there's, there's a lot of cheese coming out of this one in the center, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that one first. Lots of cheese. That's a good temperature. And that really does taste like, ooh, it's got some spice. Ooh. Um, it tastes like a nacho cheese sauce. Like maybe you've had the, the pump nacho cheese the, in the pumps, the liquid. That's what the flavor of that cheese tastes like. So that's really good. The beef itself is really good. It's a little grainy, slightly grainy for me. It's like really finely ground up, but um, it's not super grainy, but it's pretty grainy. Um, the flavors though, the heat, you get a really good burn in the back of your throat from the peppers. I mean, it kind of shocked me. It was like, oh, that's, that's spicy. Now there's no spice meter on here and it doesn't really say spicy. It just says, um, it does say bold flavor, so. It's bold. It's a pretty strong flavor. The textures are all really good though. I just have beans. No, just, just beef. Um, cause I didn't taste beans. That's why I was wondering. I was surprised I didn't have beans in it. Let me try the end piece, see what the texture is about it. I like it because a lot of times the ends get really tough and hard. Not too bad, they're dense. It's, it's more, there's more stuff there. It's a little harder, but not uh, hard, hard. Um, I think the flavors of this are really good. After that first bite, by the way, the burn in the back of my throat's not quite as intense. Um, it's, it's a really good, nice tingle. It's not really a burn, burn. I want to see, I see garlic powder, onion powder, red peppers. Um, 
There's a lot of, it's a kind of a peppery kind of flavor to it, but I love, absolutely love the flavor of that nacho cheese. I'm gonna give this a burrito a five out of five. I don't give burritos, these frozen burritos, very high ratings usually because they're just, yeah, they're just okay. I really like the flavors of that nacho cheese in here and the textures. I like the spices in there, so it's a good spice. Um, really well balanced, very nice quality uh, burrito, so it's really good. So I hope you enjoy this video. Five out of five for me, and I'll catch you next time.